Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the fatal error crash that kicks you out of the game, often in the barren free-for-all or the final challenge. You'll see a pop-up, the game locks up, and sometimes Steam even restarts. This usually happens because the game is trying to load more graphics assets, physics objects, or effects than your system can handle. If too many weapons or armor pieces pile up on the ground, or if you're running in DirectX 12 on a card that struggles, the engine runs out of memory and stops. The first fix is to change your Steam launch options so the game runs in DirectX 11 and knows about more video memory. In Steam, right-click the game, pick properties, and in launch options enter something like DX11 available Vidmum 12000 no mem restrict nor restrictions. If you have 8GB of VRAM, you'd put 8000 instead of 12000. This tells the game to use DX11, removes built-in memory limits, and lets it see the amount of VRAM you actually have. After this change, many players find the crashes stop. If crashes still happen, turn down or off the blood and gore settings in the graphics menu. Those effects use a lot of shader and texture memory, especially when there are many bodies and particle effects on screen. By setting these to low or off, you free up VRAM and reduce the chance the game will run out of memory during heavy fights. Another step is to optimize your PC. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date from Nvidia or AMD. In Windows Power Options, choose High Performance. Close any background programs you don't need, especially overlays or recording software. If you use an Nvidia card, open the Nvidia Control Panel, find your game profile, and set it to prefer maximum performance. These tweaks make sure the engine and Steam have the resources they need without other programs interfering. There is also a quick workaround to buy you extra time. When the fatal error window pops up, immediately press Alt plus Tab to switch out of the game. Wait about 10 seconds, then Alt plus Tab back in. You'll usually get about a 1 minute window where the game keeps running. You can use that time to finish the wave or open a menu and save your progress. Try these fixes one at a time or combine them. Changing launch options and cutting graphics settings often solve the problem right away. If you still get crashes, the Alt plus Tab trick can help you push a little further. I hope this helps you finish that final challenge without interruptions. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments if you have any other tips.